everyone. Right, today I'm going to do a pyramid. Uh, well, not just today, it's going to take a few days. I have got my pyramid. I've put talcum powder inside between the two layers because that helps get this out, layer out so it doesn't get stuck. I tape the tops sides down. I've got hair in it by the looks of it. Um, so then these don't, hopefully these won't warp. This is a new, um, not the new thingy, I've just bought a new inside bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is, um, I don't know where all this rubbish is coming from, considering it's a brand new mould. Hmm. I know, my rose. <laughs> I checked my rose. I um, took some roses off my two plants. I have got this one and this one. And as you can hear, I've dried them out. These are from my rose at the front and these are called Peace Rose. And then I've got two little pink buds. Uh, they're just called a rose. <laughs> I don't know what they are. So I've dried them out as well. But I can see uh, sand. Little tiny bits of sand still stuck on them. But I don't mind that. That should be all right. So what I'm going to do is going to fill fill the tip up and I'm going to put some probably some very I'm not going to put uh yeah I'm going to put a pink at the bottom and then I'm going to oh, keep getting dirt in it um then I will fill it up with deep pour don't know if I should really do it all in one pour, but I'm going to have a go as it's a deep pour resin. Uh, what one am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one, this crystal five to five. Uh, I don't know if it's going to gonna be enough it won't probably won't be enough it'll probably only do half of it but I'm also gonna get um, some UV resin and I'm gonna put somehow drop some on here to make it into like a little tower so when it's actually in there like so because obviously it's not going to go down too far I can chop that off, the actual stem off, and it will actually look like it's floating. So definitely off my rose, these sand bits. This is that silicon sand for drying them out. And it's probably stuck all amongst the actual uh, petals itself, but I'm not that bothered. Um, I don't think it will harm it. We will find out. So, oh, must be the other side. I'm going to. That's better. I'm going to mix up my resin. It's a hundred of A to sixty-seven of B. Now I'm doing it as grams. I don't know if it's meant to be mils or. Because it doesn't actually state. It doesn't state at all, which is a bit annoying. Um, measure two components based on weight using electronic scales, 
within 5% of the recommended mixing ratio. And the ratio is... Oh, uh, I think it was a 2 to 1. Oh yeah, the, the 100 to the 67. So it's not even a 2 to 1, it's, it's funny funny um, weights so I will do the 67 hopefully get 214 out of that and then put the rest of it on that one so I'll get my scales I've had a good clean up today I can actually move and see things in my, on my table <laughs> right so to be to do to do your weights make sure You've put your, your pot on, then you tear it and it will go back to the noughts. If you take it off, if you tear it and it comes to naught, then you put that on, that's weighing 42 grams. So it's not going to give you the correct thingy. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to put my mask on. This is my mask. As you can see, it's nice and dusty where I've been working. I'm going to put this on whilst I mix my stuff up. But I will be taking it back off again once I've mixed it so I can actually talk to you as I'm doing this. So let me put my mask on. I doubt you can hear me properly now. Oh. And my gloves and my gloves. Excuse me for clearly sniffing when it comes to this mask, it always makes my nose run. So, I'll also, I've got silicon spray, an uh, all purpose silicon spray. I'm just going to give it a quick blast. As you can see, -hoo. Now that should make it easier for me to get that off my resin. Okay. So, I'm going to do the 67 first. If it will give me 67. If it does, oops, that's 69. No, that says 65. This is what I hate about my scales. 65 now and now I want 67 68 I will be putting different stuff on I think okay tear it and this should be the hundred For some reason, I don't know why, I always end up with, I well, know they seem near enough right. Whatever you do, whenever you take your, your lid off, put your lid back on the one you just took it off. I've made the mistake in the past and I've ended up putting different ones on. If you've seen my video of that, you know what I'm talking about. Bit of a lumpy. Okay, so now we stir and we're going to stir for about five minutes. So I should be back once I've stirred. Okay, I've mixed up my, my resin. I found this um, glitter. Well, I suppose you can call it glitter. It's hearts that are. Um, like iridescent -y. so I'm going to put them if I can open up my bottle because uh, the bottle's just about as it by the looks of it 
I don't think I'm going to get that out. Maybe that's why I've still got this stuff. Right, okay, where's my... Oh, just put everything over again. See if I can get it out. Yeah, there you go. Bleeding cork. Right, to them in the bin. Okay, so I'm going to put some of them in there. I have quite a few. Do you know what? I'm going to use them up. I'll keep that because. Even though that's that side, I can use that one. Why not? Yeah. Okay, so all I'm going to do, let me get my gloves back on, otherwise I'm going to end up with it all over my hands. Believe me, resin on your hands is so sticky. Oh, look. Fingers off. <laughs> well, that wasn't very um, good, was it? Oh, well, it would do. It would do for today. So, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit in there and get my little stick, give it a stir. Just basically want it all stuck together. more. The only problem with glitter or glittery stuff, it sticks. Okay, so that goes in the bottom. And then because it's got a point at the bottom, I get one of my old micro brushes that's got nothing on the end and I just give it a bit of a squidge. Just to make sure that the resin gets to the bottom. Otherwise we're going to end up with a uh, big hair like I've got a dark one in there. Where do you come from? Oh, not one of my pinkies. Hmm. I don't know where you're from. I ain't got you. Must have been in the pot. Let's stick it back down there. There's a long bit in there, you know. Oh, that's come off this. Right, so let's stick some more in there. There's another one, a dark one. There's been one dark once. If I can get it out, that is. It is. It's like green ones. I don't remember having green ones. Another one. And another one. It's nicking me glitters. Hmm. Right, I think that's it. Don't think I've got any more dark ones. Right. Put the rest of that in there. The problem with things like glitter and silicone, it sticks to them very well. So it can be a pain in the backside getting them out of your pot. That's it. That would do. A bit of glare or something there. 
Okay, there's only a few left on there, so I'll leave that. And I'm going to fill this up a little bit before I go too far. Should leave that, and then I should give it a quick blast. one side and I'm going to get my thingy right uh, that's plugged in I think it is no and I haven't got, right you can have to excuse me I've got to go and get my USB plug well I don't know if I'm recording now or not. I can't think what I'm doing, but I'm going to be doing some editing. <laughs> I'm going to leave you. Okay, let's see if this has worked. Lift it up. Yes. And that will sit on there, but on... Mm. No. Might have to right, hold on. Stick two of these together that way and that way. Okay. Uh, tape, 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 tape. Okay. That should be long enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's put the tape on there. Like that, I tape them together, and then that's the side you want it. This is not working how it <laughs> worked for the bloke. <laughs> it's definitely not working how it worked for him. Okay, so. I'm going to stick that there, and that will go there, okay. I don't know what I'm doing, so you have to excuse me. I'm being a bit, bit of a, let's try it an error. Right, let's stick that over there and quickly get that cured. Try not to beat the rose up. Sounds to me like my dog is eating my cat's food. Okay, that's stuck. Okay, so that is going to go in there like so. Okay. And probably didn't need to didn't stick it but I will so let's put a bit more of this in not sure how far I'm supposed to go with this to be quite honest this is all trial and error for me when it comes to deep pores because I don't use them usually. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there and I'm just going to pour some resin in. See where the resin is, even. I 
hopefully this won't flash cure because it's not that warm here so let's see what's got there well it's in the in the rows but oh hang on a minute i just realized i want to pour some of this inside there Because this way, you can watch me get it all over my hands now. This way, it sits inside the petals and it doesn't create so many air pockets. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Okay. Right. I shall leave that like that. I can't blow any of the bubbles if there's any bubbles in it because of the rose. So I'm hoping there's not going to be much bubbles. Hoping. I can't see. I wish I could see. I really wish I could see. Right. I'm gonna leave it leave it like that. I'm not gonna keep messing around with it. Otherwise it's gonna end up falling and god knows what in. I've got a feeling I've got air bubbles in there, but I'm not sure if that's the powder. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one to cure up a little bit and then I will put another lot in later. So I will be back when that has cured up a bit. See you later. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. I filled this up so it's just over the uh, rose. What I'm thinking of doing Usually I just put lights in, but I was thinking if I actually glue them into place, then I can actually see exactly where they're going. So I've got my UV resin, so I'm going to start in the middle, a bit of UV resin, stick me light there and put my torch on it. I don't know if this torch is going to be strong enough or if I'm going to have to use my big big guns. Well, I say big guns, it's just a nail thingy. It's curing gradually, I can feel it. So when it's cured, what I want to do is I will sort of like pinch these up out the way so you can't see all the, the wires, hopefully. And then I'm going to put uh, something silver over it. Um, let's see if that's enough. It looks like it. Okay, so I want to push that up. So I don't want these, oh, look at that, bugger. Our bugger lugs. Okay, let's try again. This time I shall put it on the same spot. There's no point in wasting that bit of resin. Just shove it over the top so it's glued in that way. <laughs> try it that way.
Now it's moved again. If this doesn't work, I'll have to think of something else. Excuse my dog, she's off again. <coughs> Every time I'm videoing, I think she starts. Oi, be quiet, there's nothing out there. What can you see that I can't? Nothing. Alright, Nala. Wait, shush. Shush, 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 shush. See me cutting this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> okay so is that better that's better right okay so then i'm going to bring it up and put one there what i might do is before i actually do them i might squish them together like this so you can sort of like see how many you're gonna have The last thing you want is to get halfway round and think, oh, I've got no more lights. Because that's the sort of thing I'd do. Just squeezing them all together, nearly to the end. Don't know if you can see what you can see. You, can see. you know what I'm doing anyway, don't you? You're not so silly. I just want it sticking up because then once these are dried, then I can stick them down on top of the whatever I put on there next. Because I still haven't made my mind up yet. them off resins you never know what I'm going to get up to because I don't <laughs> I start one project and it turns into something else right okay that's it so will you stop growling please I want that one Let's put that one about there so we put another blob over the top as well. Let's cure that one off. This is a very slow process, I'm afraid. So I won't show you it all. I'll show you just the, the odd one or two and then I'll come back when I've done them. I'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me do this and make small talk. Don't want to do it too quick because it looks like it's um, solid but I just want to make sure for definite. Last thing I want is it to uh, all of a sudden oh, come on done. Right, there's another one that goes around here, I think. Now I'm doing it on top of the light because then I'm actually UVing the light into the resin. Because when I done the first one, I just put the resin underneath and it just popped off. So this way it's trapped inside. So it can't go anywhere. Well, unless I pull it. Because UV resin does not stick to normal resin very well. I've seen a, a few different people do tests. Um, Wendy from... Toon Pish, she's, uh, she's done a, a test on different things, sanded and unsanded and things, and they just pop off. So <clears throat> UV resin and normal resin 
it's okay if you sandwich them together because you've sandwiched the UV resin in <clears throat> but just to stick it like this they don't sit and stay so well okay so bring that one round so all I'm going to do is gradually bring a circle round them if I've got extras I'll just plop them in somewhere so I should just carry on with this and I shall be back with you once oh hang on <laughs> I shouldn't have started doing that one and try to say I was going to come back <laughs> that's not going in there very well that's better give me a chance to do this one and I shall come back right I shall see you once I've done these okay so I've got all the things sticking up because I don't want them sticking down <laughs> what I'm thinking of doing because it's a yellow yellow rose and it's got a that's a pink and silver top what I think I might do is put some pink and silver glitter just a little layer over the top to hide these wires and then I'll push all the wires down and put another little coat on top so I'm going to mix up my resin I won't use no more UV I'm going to mix up my resin and get the uh, glitters out and we'll do that layer I'll be back in a minute okay so I've got a mixture here I've got little tiny like mirror rhinestones and bigger ones so I can mix them together I've got some pink ones I don't know if they get lost in the resin but I can try them and I've also got a little bit of glitter silver glitter and these two uh, ones they're meant to be embossing powders but I love them and they come out really nicely in the in the resin so what I'm gonna do is with the big ones big rhinestones I'm just gonna oops, without chucking them all over the place I'm just gonna shove some in there just randomly put them in let them fall wherever they want to fall I'm hoping this is going to like reflect the lights and that a little bit better okay so that's the bigger ones can you see properly because I did move it there you go you can see properly now um this is the oh the smaller ones smaller rhinestones so they go in oh if I don't chuck them everywhere them there's one out here already and I've dropped one down here I'm such a messy worker okay that's them ones then I'm gonna add a few of these I've got um some more pampas grass in my little box keep these up it even then <coughs> it's like gradually uh disintegrating <laughs> oh, excuse me so I hope we can have a few of these they might get lost oh look I'm chucking it everywhere waste not want not get in there more in okay put that back in the hole if I can if not, I'll have to find a jam jar <laughs> if I can find in a jam jar ok 
okay now I'm not going to mix this up in the resin because it's just going to fall to the bottom anyway so I'm just gonna it'll move around with the resin so that's me silver Um, this is in, uh, Enchanted Gold. Oh, I love this. I love these embossing ones, even though they're not meant to be doing for this sort of thing. <coughs> and then, I can't remember what this is, Tinsel Snowflake, I think. Okay, I need a little bit of them. There is one more I'm missing that I like putting in. <coughs> um... Who's next, people? Hmm. Don't know where that's gone. Oh well, never mind. I think I've got enough in there. So I've mixed up my resin. It does look a bit cloudy, but <laughs> UK, so it's going to be cold. So anyway, I'm going to pour these in. Just very slowly. I did hot glue... Uh, sorry, um, resin this bit down a bit for the simple fact I've done them in the past and the wires are so delicate if you leave them outside and not actually in the resin they break and once they break that's your piece destroyed you can't get the lights out okay I think that's about enough. Otherwise they're going to be floating. So, a quick check. Oh, that looks pretty. I think that's going to look pretty. So, and then what I'll do is I will put a, maybe a black coat on next. And also, I will push these down. Um, once it's dry, I will push them down so you can't see these either. So that's got to sit and cure now. I'm going to give it a quick blast. That must be glitter I can see. I'm not, not bubbles. <laughs> Don't overheat it because you destroy your um, mould. Now it's this feel, I can... I can take this off. These can come off. Because it will it will hold its shape now. Okay. So there won't be much point in, or shall I show you? I suppose I could show you how I do how I'm gonna do this bit, but it is as simple as anything. I am just literally going to push them down and put a coat on another coat of black but when it's more solid you can actually push them down and if I catch it at the right time I should hopefully be able to like put them down and stick them into the actual resin not sure if I'm going to do that might leave it till it's completely dry push it down and then it's completely covered but anyway, I shall see you again soon once this layer is dried. See you soon. Yeah, this is dry enough now for me to push these down. So I'm going to just put them all down like this. Just push them all down into the... I'm going to put them into the middle more because that way they're not going to poke out the edge. And push them all down flat. Hopefully, they'll stay there nicely. And I have got my resin. My resin is this to cascade again. Um, I'm going to put in a bit of yellow and a bit of white to make a very pale yellow for on the bottom because then it will go with the rose. 
So let's do a bit of yellow. See if we can scrape it off. This is pigment from uh, resin eight, and I think they are so bright with colour. Just making sure I've got all the paste off of here, and then I will get my old cloth that I've got sat around. Just clean that off. That's done. Okay, let's chuck that one back over there, out of the way. There it is. Okay, now we've got hmm, paint. Okay, we'll do it. Do it descend. Just got to take a bit of resin off. It's uh, floating off. Hopefully it won't go in my stuff. Okay, so I've got the yellow. It's got to be mixed in a bit better. And then I'm going to put in my white. And this is white from Resonate as well. Yellow is quite dark, so I want it quite light. So hopefully, this will be enough to do it. But maybe not, I don't know. We will see. I'll make a meal out of this. <laughs> It didn't change much colour, did it? <laughs> Wipe this stick off. I don't put resin in. And I'll put some more in. Hopefully, I put too much yellow in. Should have put the white in first and then done the yellow on top. Done it the wrong way round. Never mind. Let's see what this comes out like. <laughs> Looks like custard. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. to think what else I could put in it that might help it lighten up quicker. I don't think there is anything. Oops, yellow there will end up a little over me. Take that off. Do. So they're all nice and flat, hopefully. And then I'm just gonna pour this over the top. It does look like custard. Oh, I could just look at this. I'm thinking, oh, I could eat banana and custard now. That's a nice big base. Oh, 
hopefully, because it's all light colours and things, it will reflect the resin off it nicely. So we'll do that and then yeah, there's a gun. Give it a burst of the old bubbles. Not bothered about that bit of glitter. And I shall leave that now to dry. But I shall see you when this is all nice and dry tomorrow and we can unmold it and see what it's turned out like. See you later. Bye. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I filled this up so it's just over the uh, rose. What I'm thinking of doing, usually I just put lights in, but I was thinking. If I actually glue them into place, then I can actually see exactly where they're going. So I've got my UV resin. So I'm going to start in the middle. A bit of UV resin. Stick me light there and put my torch on it. I don't know if this torch is going to be strong enough or if I'm going to have to use my big big guns. Well, I say big guns, it's just a nail thingy. It's curing gradually, I can feel it. So when it's cured, what I want to do is I will sort of like pinch these up out the way so you can't see all the, the wires, hopefully. And then I'm going to put uh, something silver over it. Um, let's see if that's enough. It looks like it. Okay, so I want to push that up. So I don't want these, oh, look at that, bugger. Arr, bugger lugs. Okay, let's try again. This time I shall put it on the same spot. There's no point in wasting that bit of resin. Just shove it over the top so it's glued in that way. <laughs> try it that way. Now oh, it's moved again. If this doesn't work, I'll have to think of something else. <coughs> oh, excuse me, dog, she's off again. <coughs> Every time I'm videoing, I think she starts. Oi, be quiet, there's nothing out there. What can you see that I can't? Nothing. All right, Nala. Wait, shush. Shush, 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 shush. Can see me cutting this bit out. <laughs> okay, so is that better? That's better. Right, okay. So then I'm going to bring it up. And put one there. What I might do is before I actually do them, I might squish them together like this, so you can sort of like see how many you're going to have. The last thing you want is to get halfway round and think, "Oh, I've got no more lights," because that's the sort of thing I do. <laughs> Just squeezing them all together nearly to the end. 
don't know if you can see what you can tell. You, can see, you know what I'm doing anyway, don't you? You're not silly. I just want it sticking up because then once these are dried, then I can stick them down on top of the whatever I put on there next because I still haven't made my mind up yet. I got moth resins. You never know what I'm going to get up to because I don't. <laughs> I start one project and it turns into something else. Right, okay, that's it. So, will you stop growling, please? I want that one. Let's put that one about there. So, we put another blob over the top as well let's cure that one off this is a very slow process I'm afraid so I won't show you it all I'll show you just the, the odd one or two and then I'll come back when I've done them I'm sure you don't want to sit here watching me do this and make small talk. Don't want to do it too quick because it looks like it's um, solid but I just want to make sure for definite. Last thing I want is it to uh, all of a sudden all come on done. Right, there's another one that goes around here, I think. Now I'm doing it on top of the light because then I'm actually UVing the light into the resin. Because I done the first one, I just put the resin underneath and it just popped off. So this way it's trapped inside. So it can't go anywhere. Well, unless I pull it. Because UV resin does not stick to normal resin very well. I've seen a, a few different people do tests. Um, Wendy from... Pish, she's uh, she's done a a test on different things, sanded and unsanded and things, and they just pop off. So <clears throat> UV resin and normal resin, it's okay if you sandwich them together because you've sandwiched the UV resin in. <clears throat> but just to stick it like this, they don't sit and stay so well. So bring that one round. So all I'm going to do is gradually bring a circle round them. If I've got extras, I'll just plop them in somewhere. So I should just carry on with this and I shall be back with you once. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> I shouldn't have started doing that one and try to say I was going to come back. <laughs> That's not going in there very well. That's better. me a chance to do this one and I shall come back right I shall see you once I've done these okay so I've got all the things sticking up because I don't want them sticking down <laughs> what I'm thinking of doing because it's a yellow yellow rose and it's got a, I think that's a pink and silver top. What I think I might do is put some pink and silver glitter, just a little layer over the top to hide these wires. And then I'll push all the wires down and put another little coat on top. So I'm going to mix up my resin. I won't use no more UV. I'm going to mix up my resin and get the uh, glitters out and we're do that layer. I'll be back in a minute. OK, 
Okay, so I've got a mixture here. I've got little tiny like mirror rhinestones and bigger ones so I can mix them together. I've got some pink ones. I don't know if they get lost in the resin, but I can dry them. And I've also got a little bit of glitter, silver glitter, and these two uh, ones. They're meant to be embossing powders, but I love them and they come out really nicely in the, in the resin. So what I'm going to do is with the big ones, big rhinestones, I'm just going to, without chucking them all over the place, I'm just going to shove some in there. Just randomly put them in. Let them fall wherever they want to fall. I'm hoping this is going to like reflect the lights and that little bit better. Okay, so that's the bigger ones. Can you see properly? Because I did move it. There you go. You can see properly now. Um, this is the oh, the smaller ones, smaller rhinestones. So they go in. Oh, if I don't chuck them everywhere. That will do them. There's one out here already. And I've put one down here. I'm such a messy worker. Okay, so that's them ones. Then I'm going to add a few of these. I've got um, some more pampas grass in my little box to keep these pocket even thin. <coughs> it's like gradually uh, disintegrating. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I hope we can have a few of these. They might get lost. Oh, look, I'm chucking it everywhere. Waste not, want not. Get in there. A few more in. A jam jar. <laughs> I can find in a jam jar. Okay. Now I'm not going to mix this up in the resin because it's just going to fall to the bottom anyway. So I'm just going to it'll move around with the resin. So that's me silver. Um, this is in, uh, Enchanted Gold. Oh, I love this. I love these embossing ones, even though they're not meant to be doing for this sort of thing. <coughs> and then, I can't remember what this is, Tinsel Snowflake, I think. Okay, I need a little bit of them. There is one more I'm missing that I like putting in. <coughs> um, Two sets, people. Hmm. Don't know where that's gone. Oh well, never mind. I think I've got enough in there. So I've mixed up my resin. It does look a bit cloudy, but <laughs> UK, so it's going to be cold. So anyway, I'm going to pour these in. Just very slowly. I did hot glue. Uh, sorry, um, resin this bit down a bit for the simple fact I've done them in the past and the wires are so delicate if you leave them outside and not actually in the resin they break and once they break that's your piece destroyed you can't get the lights out okay I 
think that's about enough. Otherwise they're going to be floating. So, a quick check. Oh, that looks pretty. I think that's going to look pretty. So, and then what I'll do is I will put a, maybe a black coat on next. And also, I will push these down um, once it's dry. I will push them down so you can't see these either. So that's got to sit and cure now. I'm going to give it a quick blast. That must be glitter I can see, and not, not bubbles. <laughs> Don't overheat it because you'll destroy your um, mould. Now it's this deal, I can furl, I can take this off. These can come off. Because it will, it will hold its shape now. Okay. So there won't be much point, in, or shall I show you? I suppose I could show you how I do, how I'm going to do this bit. But it is as simple as anything. I am just literally going to push them down and put a coat on another coat of black but when it's more solid you can actually push them down and if I catch it at the right time I should hopefully be able to like put them down and stick them into the actual resin not sure if I'm going to do that might leave it till it's completely dry push it down and then it's completely covered but anyway, I shall see you again soon once this layer is dried. See you soon. Yeah, this is dry enough now for me to push these down. So I'm going to just put them all down like this. Just push them all down into the... I'm going to put them into the middle more because that way they're not going to poke out the edge. it and push them all down flat hopefully they'll stay there nicely and I have got my resin my resin is this the cascade again um, I'm going to put in a bit of yellow and a bit of white to make a very pale yellow for on the bottom because then it will go with the rose. So let's do a bit of yellow. See if we can scrape it off. This is pigment from uh, resin 8 and I think they are so bright with colour. Just making sure I've got all the paste off of here and then I will get my old cloth that I've got sat around. Just clean that off. That's done. Okay, let's chuck that one back over there, out of the way. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we've got. Hmm, that's paint. Okay, we'll do it. Do this scent. Just got to take a bit of resin off. It's uh, floating off. Hopefully it won't go in my stuff. Okay, so I've got the yellow. It's got to be mixed in a bit better. And then I'm going to put in my white. And this is white from Resonate as well. 
yellow is quite dark so I want it quite light so hopefully this will be enough to do it but maybe not I don't know we will see I'll make a meal out of this <laughs> It didn't change much colour, did it? <laughs> Wipe this stick off. I had to put resin in. And I'll put some more in. Hopefully, I put too much yellow in. Should have put the white in first and then done the yellow on top. Done it the wrong way round. Never mind. Let's see what this camera looks like. <laughs> looks like custard. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. to think what else I could put in it that might help it lighten up quicker. I don't think there is anything. Oops, right there, I'll end up with it all over me. Take that off. Do. So they're all nice and flat, hopefully. And then I'm just gonna pour this over the top. It does look like custard. Oh, I could just look at this. I'm thinking, oh, I could eat banana and custard now. That's a nice big base. Hopefully, because it's all light colours and things, it will reflect the resin off it nicely. So, I'm going to do that. And then, the air, uh, the gun. Give it a burst of the old bubbles. Not bothered about that bit of glitter. And I shall leave that now to dry. But I shall see you when this is all nice and dry tomorrow. And we can unmold it and see what it's turned out like. See you later. Bye. Hiya. Right. This looks like it sort of like flash cured a little bit. Maybe I've done it a bit too deep. But I don't think I... No, I didn't. I don't know why it's done that. Never mind. I'm not bothered. So, let's... See if we can get it out. <laughs> I had uh, some fun. I moved it, and when I moved it, it all spilled out. So it might not come out very <laughs> as easy as it should. Because <laughs> by rights, should be able to do that, and it come out. <laughs> But this one don't want to, does it? And I put powder on it. Oh dear, what have I done? <laughs> it 
should come out. <laughs> Stick a bit of that in there. Hopefully that will help it. It's uh, alcohol. I don't know if it will or not. Oh, there it goes. Alcohol's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, look, it tripped all down here. <laughs> I don't write old spillage. <laughs> right, okay, let's get that one out of the way for a minute. Right, shall we have a look? Let's start this way. Look, I had right old spillage. It, it was went all over my hands and everything. Hey, that way. Way. Off the top. Let's turn that back in the right way. That's it. I have to clean that all off. Oh, you're ready. Ready? Here we go. Oh, hey! Oh, I'm loving it. Got to do some filing off on the bottom because obviously where that's flash cured and everything is gone a bit funny. But wow, I love it. Oh, wow, wow. There's a few, you can see a few bubbles in it. But I love it. I'm chuffed as punch with that one. I think it might have been a bit better if it had pink on the bottom. So it was pink on top and bottom. But no, I'm I'm happy. Happy with that. Still. So hopefully you like it hopefully you enjoyed watching me make me me my cups and things oh, i've got a bubble there oh what a shame i have to try and fill that in and then um sand it off give it a sand oh that's the back so this could end up sitting beside my bed <laughs> i'm loving it Right, so anyway, please subscribe, thumbs up, no, yeah, give me a thumbs up, <laughs> not thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, um, and it, it, leave a comment, and uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as what I did, I can't really get it that close, so you can see, have a good, good look at it, can you see with a powder's been on it and the hole's there if I can feel a hole there but other than that the tip's perfect the edges are oh it's got a little tiny hole there for the edge but other than that it's perfect and I'm happy as Larry anyway thank you very much for watching hopefully I'll see you all again soon Bye-bye for now.